Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna to do a mail time video for you. Um, Aaron is actually going to join me and so is Benjamin to help me get through all of the boxes. We've got a huge amount of boxes to open, uh, many of which actually came in right before Samantha Grace was born and then just over you the last betcha. few weeks. You betcha. Are you excited for this? You guys <laughs> might not. Oh, oh, oh my, yes. You might remember in December, we had a mail time video that we had to break up into three different sections um, because it took me a little over 10 hours to film it. It would just, it took a very long time and yeah. And we thought, <laughs> he's so excited. He's been excited to open boxes all morning. So we should, we should probably get into it, huh? Let's, let's do it. You were really excited about this heart box and then your daddy is getting a cutter. So he should be here in a minute. Do you want to open that up? It came with a card too, which I have in the house. So we'll flash your name up on the screen. Look at that, that's Russell. Isn't that sweet? So we have a little Russell let's, figurine right let's, here. Let's, he'll get or Cheddar. Whoever, he, is that Russell or Cheddar? I don't know. Where is he? It's either one, huh? Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Anyway, we thought that we were going to maybe skip let's doing mail do times for a little one. while, but so many of you guys seem bummed out about that. There's always a few people who don't like the fact that we do mail times. Um, and for those of you who don't like it, maybe welcome you to not watch this video. Um, but most of you guys, I would say like, here comes Aaron. Aaron, what do you think the percentage is? Like 95% of you guys were like, don't stop mail times. Um, anyway, yeah. so we thought, because I, I don't know, it's just such a good way. Oh, look at this. This is from My Soil. These are soil test kits. More of them? Yeah. Oh, good. That's cool. We did a video not that long ago. Oh, careful with that, baby. Showing um, a soil test kit we did. We did like two or three soil, soil test kits, kind of pitted them against each other to see what results we would get. Um, so this will be interesting. Is this the one that you send off in water? Yes. So these yeah. are the water ones. Yeah. Cool. Time, I think, no, I think you can go for it. Okay. But always just, um, I was, well, you know, you've edited these videos. Yeah. So like, he knows how this goes. I don't have to direct anything. This is from Elaine Sharp. This one is from Joyce in California. Oh, look. This is, I think, something for baby girl. Oh, look, got mulch. <laughs> That's so cute. With a little red headband. And then let's see what this one, oh, Benjamin, this one's cute. That one's for me. No, I think this one's for Samantha Grace as well. Oh, cute, look. I want to open that. Look at that little bee. That's their last cute. name, yep, and another bow. Is Thank that, you, Joyce. <gasps> Benjamin, look, this is from Elaine. Look at, she sent Thomas the train. Look at that, should we open that for you? Oh, and a cute chew, uh, teething toy, or, it's a toy, a teether, for Samantha Grace and a sweet headband. Oh, oh look, Erin, there's a uh, gift card to Chick-fil-A oh, oh, in oh, here, wow. a couple of them. Open the flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Elaine. Oh, cute. Oh. I'm magnetic. Open, open me, I'm magnetic. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, oh. Yeah, nice. So magnet, oh, that's cute. Look at the ruffle bum. And the enclosures, instead of being a button, are magnetic. I didn't even know that existed. Oh, Lauren, thank you. Oh my, okay. Oh, a jacket and dishcloths for me. Whoa. Whoa. Now that is a jacket. Dang. That looks so, well, I'm probably getting my mic all messed oh, up. Yeah. So cozy, feel that. Oh, too hot. Too hot, too hot. it's perfect for me. Look it. Thank you. Look. Fingerless gloves. Oh. Those are really cute. What are these? Those are dishcloths. Believe it or not, they're reusable, right? Awesome. Lily, thank you so much. Oh, this is to Samantha Grace. How cute. Over here. From Wren. Oh. Oh, that is so cute. I feel like these open scissors and knife are kind of problematic around clothing. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. And look at the little sweater. Oh, Ren, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna open this one next. This is from April in Ohio. 
Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. It has like little uh, bee buttons on it. Oh, it's a birth bee, so that makes sense. Look how sweet that is. We've got some bibs here, which we're gonna be here before we know it with yeah. the bibs. Boy, she's already over four weeks old now, and oh. <gasps> Show the people. Yeah, from Bonita in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh, this is the card that went through. Oh, how sweet. Thank you, Bonita, and thank you, April. And April said that there is, hey, Benjamin. Good job with the, uh, <laughs> with the bubble wrap. <laughs> April says there's a book coming soon as well. It could be in this pile. Ooh, oh, look at that. from Jamie. In Colorado. Oh, that is precious. Oh, this will fit her perfectly right now. <gasps> look at this. It's like little overalls. They're de white denim. How sweet. Jamie, thank you. Well, so far, everything is still going to fit her. I worry a little bit that we're going to get um, some clothes that are a little small. However, I just want to let you guys know anything that we receive, well, everything that we receive, we um, we don't like toss any of it or sell any of it. Well, yeah, we if get we accused get, of selling it to make money. Yeah, we don't make money on these. Um, but if we get stuff that like Samantha Grace is too big for or whatever, or if it's doubles, we always find good homes for everything. So anyway, nothing nothing is wasted or tossed or anything like that. So these are all done by Originals by Sarah Young. Dot com. Sent by Marie, but made by Sarah Young. Awesome. Thank you. Little John Deere. Burp rag. Oh, nice. That's perfect. You know, both of our babies aren't spit up babies. No. I mean, Samantha, Samantha just a little bit. Like she, well, she spit up like what, one teaspoon? Yeah, she spit up like twice. Yeah, and it's tiny, tiny amount, and that's about how many times Benjamin spit up. I can count it on one hand. It's so nice, but it doesn't mean that she doesn't have like milk around her mouth. Yeah. It, like a lot of my shirts. In fact, you probably see it in a lot of videos, because I'll go inside and feed her and you know that sort of thing, and then burp her, and she's just resting her mouth on my shirt, and so there's like white. <laughs> so this would be nice. Thank you. Oh, this is this is fun. So Rhonda's sister makes these look at this towel look it's a hooded bath towel oh cool isn't that cute and then this one is for the orange kitties russell and well not for them but after russell and, and uh cheddar thank you rhonda okay so nicole from flower hill farm sent out a onesie for samantha grace with her logo how cute is that that's really a sweet onesie right there and that'll be perfect too, because what is this, six, 12, 12 months? <laughs> Samantha Grace will probably be wearing it at six months. Yeah. <laughs> that is super cute. Thank you, Nicole. So from Judy in San Diego, she sent out the Peter Rabbit Cherished, Cherished Collection and then nine free meals from HelloFresh. That'll be fun to try. Yeah. I've heard a lot about it. From Michelle, Redemption Seeds Company. Well, I'm excited to see what's in here. Beautiful packaging. So we've got, oh my gosh, Veronica Pink Shades Seeds, Campanula Double Mix, Celosia Karum, Karum May, Series Mix, Bunny Tails, also known as Hare's Tail Seeds. Fuzzy Plume Heads are popular among floral creatives. Use fresh or dried. Clematis seeds, oh, Clematis virginiana, virginiana. Money plant mix seeds, wrinkled crest, crest, wrinkled crinkled crest seed, um, Ami black knight, aster duchess peony series blush pink seeds, nigella miss jekyll, xenia cut and come again, yarrow the pearl superior, and um, let's see, larkspur. And Ami, the queen of Africa seeds. Oh my goodness, Michelle, thank you. I'm gonna have a blast with these. And a lot of good information. That is one of the biggest things to me on seed packets is knowing all of this stuff right here. And any like tips on growing and things like that. That's really awesome. From Brianna from uh, Nebraska. Boy, state. Yeah. Abbreviations, I have to look up a lot of them, I'm not gonna lie. I have to stop and think about it. No, this is from Annie, so it must have been sent through somebody else. 
Flower Fairies of the Summer. And she's due to have a baby girl in May. That'll be really fun. You know, like May babies, I, our babies were timed out perfectly for what we do, not even on purpose. Um, but having a May baby would be kind of fun because the temperature is so nice and you could be outside with your brand new baby. And right now we're like kind of hunkered down inside yeah. with all the snow, which has its, its a mixed blessing. I mean, it, I don't know. There's a good, good and bad of every time of year, right? Congratulations, Annie, on your upcoming new sweet baby girl. This is interesting. This looks like a, something I don't want to cut on accident. Oh, Erin, this is a cushy pad yeah, for the floor. All right, well, we're gonna put this to use right now. Who is this from? This is from, here's to your new studio from Stephanie in Ohio. Oh yeah. Oh, feel that. You should feel it. Oh, that's that nice. That is nice. Oh, gift to say thank you. Hashtag green underscore string underscore art. So there's a Benjamin ornament. That's sweet. A little garland. Oh, these are all of your uh, letters, Benjamin. Look. Oh, he would like this. You want to try this, buddy? There's also a stack of cho chocolate. You want it? You know what that says? Oh, it's not going to go. It has um, Velcro sticky things on. Here you go, baby. On the back, so that it has the ability to put it up on the wall. We need another end. Benjamin? Benjamin? Did, did you leave something in the box? Oh. Oh, I was going to say, they're going to be horrified if they realize they only put one end in there. <laughs> Benjamin, Benjamin, look, this is your name. Perfect. Well, thank you, Green String Art, for sending these out. Oh, boy. This says Crown Linen Designs, Erin. What does that mean? Oh, we got an email from a gal. Let's see, this is from LA Junk in Boise where we went to um, oh. Antique and I saw something there that I really liked and she called down and had him send it, send it over. So she sent me an email just saying like, hey, it's coming, if you don't like it, you can return it. They said that was fine. Oh, uh, no need to return these, that's for dang sure. Oh my goodness. These are from Demi. Uh, AKA the public speaking gardener. Anyway, she sent me a really sweet email and said that these were coming, they were on their way, and I love this because I have to tell you, Demi, I just bought some, well, I, last few months, from, a few months ago, I bought some new bedding for our eventual guest bedroom, and it's all in shades of white, and I already bought a pillow that has a bee on it. Um, but it's just one to go in the center, so now I can have like two to flank it. I'm so excited, it's perfect. From Catherine May. Oh, so this is fun. She's doing these creations from flowers that she's got. Etsy is CM Blooms, CM Blooms and Petals. Thank you, Catherine May, for sending this out. Very pretty. And this is from April. Um, I'm not sure where from. Let's see. From April. Thank you. That is a really cute pot. I love that. From Rhiannon. From Minnesota. Look at Erin, these are little um, like mittens for baby. Oh, nice. Hey Benjamin, you wanna try this hat on? This is from Rhiannon in Minnesota. Oh, look at you. Do you wanna show the camera? Say, thank you, Rhiannon. <laughs> oh, this is cute with a little glittery. Some Norwex uh, little washcloths. And this is a bib right here. Very cute, thank you, Rhiannon. LittleBittyDelights.com, Cordelia. Isn't that what Anne of Green Gables wanted to be called? Cordelia, oh, right. yeah. Oh, this is um, like aromatherapy Play-Doh. I've never heard of that before. So this one is lemongrass, rosemary, and eucalyptus. Oh my goodness, that's cool. This is adult Play-Doh right here. I love it. Is this? Yeah, whoa. This one is mandarin, oh wait, wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, ma uh, mandarin, bergamot, uh, tangerine, clementine, vanilla, and spearmint. I'm gonna smell that one, hold on. Oh, that smells good. And then this one is lemon and lime. 
Can never go wrong with lemon and lime. Smell it. It's a lemon, lemon lime. You might have to pull it out like this. Oh, there we go. So what is this? Uh, LittleBittyDelights.com. Those are sweet. Oh, from Robin. My dog barks at the TV when Russell appears. Yeah. It's a PS. <laughs> Robin made these. She crochets. How sweet. Thank you. From Patty. Oh, I think these are more of those things for my, what? How come I can never remember the name of that, the plate and the platter that I have? Oh my goodness. Oh, so sweet. So she has sent out, like I have, starting to have a set. Um, what, what are they called? Oh, was it in this box, Erin? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. These are for Valentine's Day, but she sent out a platter and a uh, plate and, or a bowl, like a bowl and a platter. Anyway, they have a little hole in them where you can put in customized um, little picks. And so she has sent out like Thanksgiving ones, we have Christmas ones, we have like um, just, uh, oh my. Are you putting them all together? Well, that sounds that's good. It's a, a one-time Yeah. Well, we one -time can, I, I think all those smells will be good together. Anyway, so now we have some Valentine's ones to put in those plates. That's exciting. Oh, and there's snowflakes. That's appropriate too right now. Thank you, Patty. Oh, Benjamin. Oh, my shirt. Yeah. What is that? I make dirt look good is what that shirt, shirt says. Look, this is to you. Three, for turning three. A little late, but birthday wishes to big brother. From Doris. Oh, and these are for Samantha Grace. Oh, look at the pink John Deere. That is so cute. We are a John Deere family. We are well. a John Deere family, yep. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a complete outfit. John Deere cutie. How sweet. Thank you, Doris. Can you say thank you, Doris? Thank you, Doris. From John, Jamie, and Jeremy, the Espoma team. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it appears to be another, is this a changing pad? I mean, I suppose you can use it for whatever, but it's got the um, these little things on the back. It almost looks like you could put it on their tray, like their eating tray. <laughs> Floors. So it's got a whole bunch of different flowers on the front and it's That's leather. Me. Awesome, thank you guys so much. What about it? This is from my grandma. Oh, is it? Yeah. From Grandma O? Grandma or Pat. Grandma Pat. Yeah. Sweet. Let's write the alphabet. Benjamin, this is from Grandma Pat. The alphabet. Can you say, thank you, Grandma Pat? Thank you, Grandma Pat. Okay, this is from the team at TVCC, which is our Treasure Valley Community College, which I went there for two years. How oh, cute. Little TVCC chucker. We um, are going to be doing some work at TVCC this year with their flower pots and flower beds and things like that. Um, so that'll be really fun. So from Lori, Debbie, and Janelle. Thank you. From Susan. Oh, look, more burp claws. That's cute. And then this is llamas. And a little plaid with roses on the back or flowers. Oh, Susan, thank you. Oh, these are pretty. Is there a card that goes with this? Yep. What's there? <laughs> Maybe, well, I don't think that it says anything else in here, but uh, they're not signed or anything. This one, Galatians 5.22, joy is a fruit of the Spirit, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And then Samantha Grace, January 18th, 2020, at 8 a.m., 9 pounds, 14 ounce whopper, and 28, 21 inches long, not 28 inches long. <laughs> her her two-week appointment, she weighed, already weighed 10, 14, um, and now she's four weeks. I wonder what she weighs now. Oh, there's some chicken ornaments, how cute. And do more of what makes you happy. Yes, this, more of this. Unless what makes you happy is or 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 You can't say those things in videos. Erin, you have to bleep those out again. Such a boy. From Betty, thank you. 
Look, Benjamin. Oh, aren't those cute? Those look like your chickens, don't they? Yeah, they know about me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, cute. Oh, Benjamin. Sorry. Oh, boy. Sorry. Oh, it cleans right up. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, Ken is watching okay, this video. Buzz. It's You're okay. okay, baby. You're fine. Just try to color inside the pages, okay? This is from Kim. The sweetest set of socks ever. Oh. Oh, this is sweet. Got a little onesie with flowers on it, appropriate. And then little pants with the feeties. I love pants with feeties. So nice. And look, Benjamin. Animal magnets. My first book of magnets. Would you like to play with this? So those are magnets. It'll stick to the pages and you can look at all the different pictures. They're all really pretty. Thank you so much, Kim. Oh, my word. Oh, these socks with the little... Oh, what do you, what do you even call that? I don't know. Those are cute. And there's little bee ones too. Little bees or something? Yep, and there's a little bow for her head. Another little bow with a headband from Renee in Alabama. Oh, another little bow that's white with a little pink on the back. How cute. Benjamin. I won't open that. Okay, let's go over here, bud. The books are for Benjamin, the happy man and his dump truck. And there's a pest in the garden. <laughs> that looks like a gopher. How cute. And then all else she said is for baby garden answer. Oh, this is cute. Look at that bib with the garden theme. So sweet, thank you. Oh my word. Who sent all of these seeds? Oh my goodness. Love from the Gorton family. Look at this. This is like the sweetest little, is this a handmade little basket? Full of seeds. Holy moly. Lacinato kale, baby ball beets, Persian baby cucumbers, green, called green fingers, ruby gem lettuce, yummy bells, uh, Romeo carrots, Babette carrots, garden baby's butterhead lettuce, mini jack pumpkins, Mikado baby turnips, uh, baby cabbage pixie, baby Napa cabbage little jade. I'm getting a, having a total baby theme right here. This is a baby themed. Baby butternut squash called honey nut. Uh, baby spaghetti squash. Asian baby leaf lettuce. Baby bell peppers. Baby leaf Italian kale. This is so cute. Uh, baby leaf tender chard. Sweetie baby romaine lettuce. Little hero baby spinach. And baby leeks. That is the cutest thing ever. Uh, and these things go along with it. Oh, look at this. Look at this lovey, Aaron. That is like the lovey to beat all loveys oh. right there. That's a big lovey. Yeah, I love that. Lovey. And the sweetest hat. Oh, I find I put the hospital hat on her a lot because, and it's a lot like this because it stays on, well, I mean, it stays on her head pretty good, better than any of the other hats that I have so far. So I'm excited to try that. And cool flowers, how to grow and enjoy long blooming, hardy annual flowers using cool weather techniques. I could use that. Oh, and Wendy crocheted these. So Wendy, we have met. We met at the uh, Grand Garden Show, Erin, in Mackinac in 2019. Oh, yeah. um, and then she was able to attend one of Florette's in-person workshops in 2016. Oh, wow. She's got a Leaping Lavender Herb Farm. And then this whole like baby set is in honor, of course, of Samantha Grace to do a little baby, baby uh, vegetable patch. Thank you for all of these sweet things. And Benjamin is loving his tractor over there. Do you love it? Thumbs up. Is there a card? Oh yeah, underneath. Oh, oh, underneath? Oh, perfect, okay. Oh, that is a super soft, sweet blanket. A Sherpa baby blanket. There's a teether. Perfect. A little snuggle blankie, an elephant lovey. Oh, there's another one. Cute. A little uh, bunny. Oh. And a sweet elephant. Oh, those are really, really cute. From Donna, thank you. Oh, oh, look at that. Isn't that appropriate? Mm. That's the sweetest thing ever. Okay, Benjamin is leaving to go probably have some lunch. Bye, buddy. From Roy and Terry in Texas. This is super sweet, thank you. Oh my goodness. 
You guys and your talent, it just amazes me. For your baby girl from a great grandma in Florida. No name even attached to it. Oh my goodness. And it says Samantha Grace, January 2021, nine pounds, 14 ounces. Wonderful. Thank you. So much work. From Sharon in South Carolina. Oh, and Benjamin just went in to go have lunch. Dang it. He's going to love this because he follows me around when I, whenever I get our Dyson out. So we have one in here in the studio, and then we have a couple in the house because we love them so much. So he's going to love this, that he has something that mirrors what we've got. That is really thoughtful. Oh. I'm such a sucker, you guys. Like, so Pottery Barn, they, like, they know they've got my number. And I was feeding Samantha Grace one night real late, and it's like they knew they needed to advertise to me at that moment. And they put up these super cute Easter baskets with Peter Rabbit little covers that go over the side. And I ordered two of them that are hand, like they're embroidered with their name. So Benjamin has his basket and Samantha has hers. Um, so, so cute. So this is the Happy Easter Pom Pom Garland. And Easter is my favorite holiday of all the holidays. So I'm a sucker for, for Easter stuff. Oh, that's cute. I'm not going to take it out because it is glittery, but that will be really fun to display. Okay, we're back. We had lunch, so we're all like energized and ready to go for the second part of this meal time. So I'm just going to continue on here. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you sent this. I wanted to order this. Oh, look, it's a little Peter Rabbit. Oh, Benjamin's going to die. He loves, he loves Peter Rabbit. My mom has one on a rocking chair at her house. Like she has little mini rocking chairs for the kids. And she has a Winnie the Pooh on one and a Peter Rabbit on the other and he carries those two around a lot. Oh my goodness. They let you, they let you um, do Samantha Grace on this one. They wouldn't let me do Samantha Grace on her Easter basket. They only allowed nine characters. Oh, really? Yes, look at this. <gasps> oh, I love stuff that's personalized like this like monogram stuff and stuff that's embroidered like this. I think it's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Sharon, thank you so much. This is for Benjamin when my baby came home with an ink stamp pad. Oh, this is from Heidi when my baby came home. It's a book that the, the older sibling gets to fill out. Oh yeah. Like with things, my baby's name is this, my baby's birthday is this. Um, oh, that is really cute. Oh, it's a clean touching ink pad. Huh. Right here. Oh, we can do like little footprints with this. Heidi, thank you. From Mary in Georgia. It's a sweet little uh, New Testament Bible. Look at this sweet dress. Oh my goodness. With the little sweater. Oh, oh and this is sweet. Look at that. Wow. Elegantbaby.com an embroidered cross and little ruffle little bib little socks oh my goodness that is really cute and then a little plush lamb thank you mary so we've got a magnetic car loader melissa and doug and oh my goodness just love all these baby clothes are so cute little onesie with a sweet fleecy sweater a penguin on it and the little pants this is three to six month wonderful and then a book called Carrot Soup. From Linda in Canada. Thank you, Linda. Ooh, fun. Rival restaurants. Oh, and the best handwriting ever from Tiffany. Oh, oh so cute. Look at this. Look at that little uh, sweater. And Tiffany said that her friend Samantha makes these. And so she thought it was perfect for our Samantha. And it is. And then also the board game Rival Restaurants. Her husband is part of a, a board game publishing oh, like, really? company. Like yeah. Um, she said Benjamin might be a little bit too young yet to play it, but we'd probably enjoy playing it, which we probably would. Oregon Grape, right there. And, oh, those are magnet school like a water lily a flower of some kind a cactus 
a rose, and an aloe. Oh no, that's not a flower, that's an echeveria. Oh, for crying out loud, these are all succulents. That's probably a, a calanchoe or calancho is what we say up here. Aloe, echeveria, echeveria, cactus. Okay, so here we have Beekman 1802 orange and honey blossom goat milk, milk hand cream. Let me open the card quick. Isn't that the sweetest card? Welcome, sweet baby. This little like handmade booties. From a doll in New York. So the Beekman hand cream, thank goodness for this stuff. I probably should have lotioned up before this video. It's like one of the, I don't think about it before videos and like we'll do a, a close up creative project like a fairy garden or something and then I'm like, oh my goodness, my hands are so gross. <laughs> I don't realize it until I'm watching the video back and there's no going back and changing that. You can't edit that kind of thing out. Why? Oh, honey, honey and orange blossom. Actually, you know what? That's gonna stay right here in that drawer. And we'll use it pre-video. There's uh, swaddles, some blank note cards, which I love. Oh, these are a couple of things that she made herself. Oh my goodness. Burp cloths, awesome. This one says little one. And then we've got flowery one and a polka dot one. And then this, oh, oh my, this is caramels. Oh. Yep. Oh, I want to get into it so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, doll. Sing. That looks like okra pot or something. Stephen and Kelly Roundtree in Georgia. Oh, there they are. Oh, cute. Look at their dog. Cute dog. Oh, it is okra. Ah, I nailed it. Oh, this is a handmade it? ornament. Yeah, so it's a little angel ornament made out of an orchid. Okra pod and an acorn and then two little... Other pods, let's see if she says. Oh, cotton burrs. Oh, and then some local peach hot sauce. How fun. Thank you, Kelly. These are from Dawn in Texas. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, some wonderful sleepers. And these are three to six months, so next stage. So she'll, she'll be in sooner rather than later, I think. I'm actually having to retire a few of her three month things. I did that this morning. Um, just, you know, some brands, they just run a little bit smaller than others. I mean, we all know how that is, like in pants in particular. Um, so occasionally I'll come across a brand where the three month stuff is just a little bit too short for her. These are awesome. Look at this little shirt right here. Oops, like this. And then the little sweet pants to go with it as well as a headband. Super cute. Thank you, Dawn. Okie doke, is there a card that went along with this one? Oh, right here, good. This is from uh, Vanetta. So, truck's book for Benjamin. And of course, some Hot Wheels, which he will love. And he doesn't have any of these. I spend a crazy amount of time looking at his cars. Like, let me tell you, we play lots of cars and we dump his whole basket out and like line them all up. And then I, I um, like kind of pass the time a little bit by organizing them by like color. He always likes to wreck whatever organizational system I have, but I'll do color or I'll do style of car, like all the trucks go together, or I'll organize them by year because each one of them is like time stamped on the back. Like this is 2018, 2014. I think we have one back to 1971 is our oldest one that we have. This one's 2016, so there you go. That's what I do. <laughs> and look at that sweet sleeper. I mean, famous last words. I told my mom, I think, or my sister, I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna dress her in a ton of pink. Like, I'll, I'm gonna keep it on the neutral side and like do a little bit of pink. I love to dress her in pink. It is the most fun thing ever. So she wears pink like every day. Except for today, I think I have her in a yellow sleeper. It might have a little pink in it, pink hearts. Little headbands and bibs. Thank you, Vanetta. Oh, what is this cute thing? Look at this. Samantha Grace, January 18th, 7.59 a.m., nine pounds, 14 ounces, 21 inches. Ah, oh, so cute. And this is from Carla, thank you so much. Okay, Erin said that all of these things came in the same box. Holy moly. Okay, so first off, we've got like a sensory book. What do they call these? I should know, it's a soft book. Oh, look how cute that is, peekaboo. 
sunshine. Oh, these are fun. There is a little rattle toy. There's a Mary Had a Little Lamb with a little soft book. I think that this one you can open too. Yep. There are a lot of Hot Wheels here. How is it that Benjamin, he gets so many Hot Wheels and he has never had a repeat? Like that doesn't even make sense. There's a little hummingbird ornament. Happiness lives here. Oh, another Hot Wheels I missed. There are some painted rocks. This says blue hearts for heroes. There's one with a sunflower that says be inspired. And this one says, hey guys, a book. It's animal kiss, uh, if animals kissed goodnight. Oh boy. Aaron, more track. 40 feet oh, of Hot Wheels oh, track. Wow. He's going to flip out. Greetings from zone 7A. Whatever the A means, <laughs> tell me about it. This is all from Denise, thank you so much. These are from Crystal in North Carolina. And had I known, usually the boxes are marked perishable or fresh flowers or something. And you know, our boxes are sent down to the garden center and so they actually look over boxes and if it's marked perishable, they always call me and let me know. But this box didn't have any indication that it was perishable. Summer. There are some beautiful things in here though. Like they actually still have some life. I think I could take like this one out, this little bouquet or this little, I don't know what it is, out and dry it. Oh, they smell good. Oh, milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, dark cho chocolate, almond, almond, dark, dark, and nuggets, which um, the milk chocolate with uh, toffee and almonds nuggets are my favorite thing ever on this planet. Man, so much for losing baby weight, right? I know. <laughs> Linda, thank you so much. And you know, Benjamin is a chocolate fiend. Yeah. He will he'll love this too. I'm actually kind of glad he's not seeing this right now because yeah. then he'll know we have it. So it's a book called A Mother's Love. We're not sure who sent it, but whoever did, thank you very much. I think that Aaron needs to open boxes every time. <laughs> Am I helping you out? Yeah, big time. Oh, from April. Boy, April, I think all of your Lowe's things have come in several different shipments here. So I think that this one, belongs here and then this one must belong with this one well it doesn't say who it's from but look at how sweet this is this little weighted bunny for a shelf this is really sweet whoever sent it thank you <gasps> these are from klaus oh serious yeah oh my oh. word klaus this is a box full of awesomeness <gasps> Oh, Klaus said he wants to come over to our garden and meet us in 2022. Oh, let's he do said it's it probably the earliest that we'll be able to do that. Oh my goodness. That's like nice wrapping paper too. Yeah, well, Klaus is like... Like you don't find that at Walmart. <laughs> no, it's like fabric paper. Oh, and he, he does this. He did tutorials on how to fold paper to make it really beautiful. Um, and then all of his books are in Danish, which will kind of be fun though. And he um, said that even though they're in Danish and I don't speak that language, um, he thought I might look, like looking through his books and seeing all the pictures in them. So, oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I kind of feel like I need to set this up in a display. <laughs> okay, so here's one of the books here. I'm guessing this is a holiday. You look like winter. Yep. Wintertime projects. Beautiful. Oh, is this cut flower? Lots of different projects in here, seasonal projects. And then a uh, holiday. Oh, and these are blank note cards with pictures from his garden. And more right here. So beautiful. Gosh, I need to learn, I need to learn his language because I need to be able to read these books. Like, look at this. We need him to design the area around our Hartley. Yeah. I should email him and just say, you know what, we gotta do this. And you gotta come over. So with Klaus, we shared a couple videos that he gave to us this past like November or December on the Highlights channel, which is where you're watching this video right now. And then he was part of our 2020 Impressive Plants of the Year on our main channel, um, where I think like 10 or 11 different gardeners and influencers came together and just shared what was most impressive in their garden that they liked the most. Um, and so he said he really would like to send out his books uh, and some other things. So, well, how fun. 
that was a big box of things. So now we need to open these presents. I have reading material for days and days and you weeks picture, picture and weeks. You know days. what? That's mostly what my books are for anyway. These will go right on the coffee table because they're excellent to flip through for some quick inspiration. Okay, so this says uh, to Benjamin. Oh, I don't even want to rip this paper. It's beautiful. Yep. Lego City. Whoops. Right there. Okay, we're going to start a pile with Klaus paper. I can't even believe, I don't know if you guys can see the detail here, but he folds his paper like beautifully. You can find him on Instagram under Klaus Dalby. Oh, that's a vase. It's one of his vases. Anyway, he does lots of videos, lots of live streams, tons of inspiration and information, um, and his garden is gorgeous. Perfect. Gotta have balance. Oh, look at that one. That one's beautiful. How fun. I'm kind of guessing this might be another one like that. Yep. So we got two of that style as well. Oh, this is another one to Benjamin. I almost feel kind of guilty that I'm the one opening this right now. Benjamin, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Inside eating lunch right now. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, he's gonna love that. Dump truck. Mm-hmm. Right up his alley. Oh, a footed face. That's beautiful. Klaus, thank you so much. This is a super, super generous gift, and I really, really appreciate you sending this all the way from Denmark. So this is to Benjamin from, oh, Charlotte in Texas. Oh, with the, oh. Oh. oh man. Oh, got some cars down here. Nice. Thank you, Charlotte. He's gonna love it. Oh, this is from Cindy. Do you know where Cindy's from? I don't. Shoot. So Cindy sent out a box of Matchbox cars for Benjamin. Oh, I love that. And then she made this quilt for Samantha Grace to keep her nice and warm. Oh, look at how sweet that is. Colors are perfect. Thank you, Cindy. I have a card inside, so we'll flash her name up on the screen, but she sent a card saying that there was a um, blanket coming, and this is it right here. It's a custom, obviously, using our pictures that we've posted on Instagram or Facebook, and it says Benjamin is so loved, which is so true. Look at this. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even know that M&M chocolate bar existed. Oh, I know. That's like melding two of Benjamin's loves right there. And these are from Linda. She also sent a box of chocolates here and then a really sweet cross-stitch rose picture framed. Uh, but the glass broke in transit, unfortunately. But everything else is fine. The frame is fine. So we'll just go get a new piece of glass. No big deal. Thank you, Linda, so much. This is from Sherry in Tennessee. Oh, I feel bad when I see Christmas wrapping and yeah. stuff. I'm like, dang it. it. Took us too long. Yeah. Oh. oh, my goodness. She said she found some antique plates that reminded her of me with the roses. That is really, really pretty. Oh, set of three. Those are really pretty. A couple of sweet headbands for Samantha Grace. Oh, and a sweet little lovey. So soft. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. Little mini mouse. Oh, that's a sweet sleeper right there. And oh, I like this one a lot. How soft and sweet that looks. And then a set of headbands and John Deere for Benjamin. So that is it for today's mail time video, you guys. Super fun to go through all of these boxes and packages. I've been watching the pile kind of slowly build um, ever since Samantha Grace came. We did one shortly before she was here. Um, but anyway, yeah, so Benjamin has been really excited to open these boxes because I told him in the next, the next time we do it, he could help. So I think that really was fun for him. And you guys are always so sweet to send them such nice things. I mean, they're such lucky little kids to have like such a huge family, such a huge community of people um, just loving on them. So to those of you guys who sent out gifts today, thank you so much. And for those of you who watching this video who support us and encourage us through sweet notes and comments and things like that, 
I mean, that means the world to us. So anyway, hope you guys are all having a really great day and a great week, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.